So what are the different ways we can manipulate and play around an image so that our computer vision related application can do whatever we want it to do. Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, I'm going to introduce the image manipulation techniques. So some of the examples of image manipulation are scaling, resizing, transformation, edge detection, cropping, sharpening, uh, affine and non-affine, etc. And in this video, we are going to learn about image manipulation techniques like transformation, affine and non-affine. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. Please show your love and support by liking, sharing and subscribing to this video as I will feel highly motivated. Also we now have the AI University uh, mobile app and the website which is in beta mode right now. You can download the code related Jupyter notebooks by enrolling to the course right here on the AI University website. You can access the related quizzes and certificate of course completion like this from the AI University. Uh, once I upload all the videos and once you complete all the tutorials including final quiz. So let's start our discussion with transformation. Well transformation is nothing but manipulating an image to bring it into some specific form. For example here is an image and if we perform transformation, then it is changed to more brighter form. That is, we increase the intensity of this image. Let's take another example. So we can also transform this image to change it to distorted form. So here the image that is the width and height of the image gets changed after performing transformation. Image transformation is categorized into two forms. One is affine and another one is non-affine. In affine transformation, we generally do rotation, translation and scaling of an image. One more point to remember here is that affine transformation is a method which preserves straight lines, points and planes. Sets of parallel lines remains parallel after an affine transformation. I will tell you what I am trying to say in a short while. Let's first see what is a scaling, rotation and translation. So scaling means we are either increasing or decreasing the size of an image. Look at this image which depicts image scaling. Then we have image translation which is the process of moving the image to some other direction or coordinates such that every point in the image is moved in the same direction and at the same distance to form the image. In layman terms, translation is a process of moving an image in the right, left, up, down or diagonally. Finally, in rotation, we rotate the image in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. So if you see here, uh, these sets of parallel lines remain parallel after an affine transformation. The affine transformation technique is typically used to correct geometric distortion or deformations that occur with non-ideal camera angles. Now let's move on to the non-affine transformation. In this kind of transformation, the sets of parallel lines doesn't need to be remain parallel. You can see that after uh, uh, you know non-affine transformation, these set of lines are not parallel after we applied non-affine transformation on this image. Non-affine transformation are equally important in computer vision because imagine a situation where camera is looking at this right angle from the top down view and now if you move your camera in this direction so your viewpoint will now be changed and your camera will now look at the rectangle just like this thereby making these two points closer and these two points farther apart there are ways to handle such situations in computer vision and we will see that in later videos so folks, this is it for this video. In the next upcoming video, I will cover another important topic of the computer vision using OpenCV series. So here is today's question. State true or false. The non-affine transformation technique is typically used to correct geometric distortion or deformations that occur with non-ideal camera angles. Please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. 
If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.